<laughs> Lee Mack is from Blackburn in Lancashire, but now lives in London because, well, you would, wouldn't you? <laughs> I'm not, but it'll go with the joke. I'm from Southport, but carry on. <laughs> Still works. Lee Mack is from Southport, but now lives in London. <laughs> because, well, you would, wouldn't you? <laughs> Doesn't work, because no one knows where Southport is. <laughs> yeah, you're from Southport, you idiot. I mean, the... <laughs> Can I just good. say I did it exactly the same way? Yeah, I did the same too. There it is. Is that alright? Yeah. What's that say? Uh, Fuck please. you. <laughs> uh, Jonathan, I read recently that you did an interview and you said that you were you were trying to dress your age. What exactly is that? It's well, not, in, I'm wearing a jacket. Look, it's a proper jacket. When I'm in the shop. <laughs> <laughs> See, now, no, I really, I bought this. <laughs> I bought this, and then went in the shop and I said to the man in the shop. Did you, uh, did, have you sold many? And he said, well, we only made two, and we gave the other one away. So that's <laughs> nice. My mm. wife dreads it, when I come home with a shopping bag, and she just looks at it, and she, oh, what's he gonna get out? And then when I got it out, she looked at it, and she went, oh, so that's happening, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Terrifying. OK, up against them this evening, special but guest... Jimmy, hold on, you what? see, you're accusing, you're talking about my dress sense, and you come out every week dressed like the butler from Westworld or something, like a, <laughs> a robot who's gonna be serving drinks. <laughs> you know, you, why don't you look at yourself, and let's look around here. John, you've always dressed like a weird 50-year-old. <laughs> Lee, you've never quite worked out what, what you are. It's hard to carry off any clothing when you look like a shaved chuckle brother. Yeah. <laughs> well, don't just pick on me, pick on everyone. You know I mean? I mean, we've all got our faults. I mean, the bloke from Lego wants his head back. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, Lee, I presume you got it? I think, yeah, I've got nine... More minutes. <laughs> Just nine. Nine. <laughs> Go on then, how'd you get your nine? Right. Oh, there's not a nine there. I thought... <laughs> Lee used to work at Butlins, outdated. Butlins! <laughs> I, I, I don't mind a joke, Jimmy, but don't get me started. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry. I think, I think the joke's still going to work. <laughs> I wait for everyone else, not for me, because I'll be crying on the inside. <laughs> what was your six? Monkey. <laughs> <laughs> yes, monkey's, monkey's a word, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's a word. It's not a word in here, though. No. <laughs> you, have you got to use those letters? <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, so in that case, it's, it's three. <laughs> What's your three-letter word? Ben. You can have names. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Lee, um, mm. John's got a young baby. Have you got any parenting tips? Yes. Uh, Ron. <laughs> no, my only tip would be, uh, from personal experience, I wouldn't uh, build a half-size snooker table in the baby's room when your wife goes out. That's <laughs> uh, and also be careful how many you have as well. Uh, I always wanted three kids, but now we've got two. I only want one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke, by the way. <laughs> I don't want any. Uh, but, yeah, just, just, just sort of get your head down, knuckle in, and it'll be all over in 20 years. How old is your baby now, John? She is three months old. She bigger than you? <laughs> Lee once got sacked from Pontins Holiday Club for calling an audience member the C-word. It might seem harsh, but that was one annoying nine-year-old girl. <laughs> I join Lee tonight, it's Victoria Corrin Mitchell! Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Victoria is the host of quiz show Only Connect, which is so nerdy it makes Countdown look like Geordie Shaw. <laughs> <laughs> um, Victoria, the last two times you've been on Countdown, you've, you've won. Um, this evening, we've given you a handicap. Um... <laughs> That's no. Genuinely, Lee Mack is one of the cleverest people on TV. God knows he hides it well, but... Uh... Same with the best-looking bloke on TV, and I hide that well as well. <laughs> OK, what, what have you got? What's your nine-letter word, Lee Mack? Steadings. Oh! <laughs> amazing. It's in. <laughs> no! Wow. Steadings. You see, my gameplay is very much all or nothing. <laughs> very much a multiple of three person. <laughs> it's only doing a six. Be honest, Yuri, are you as surprised as everyone else? And that is a word. On the outside, I'm trying to look cool. Inside, I'm going, can't believe it. <laughs> this reminds me of the first time I had sex. Please. I'm going, <laughs> how the hell did that happen? <laughs> what does it mean? What does it mean? Well, you yeah. put your penis inside a. <laughs> well, I'm. 
Literally, I, I've lost the ability to speak. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> makes sense anymore. <laughs> well, I'm going to retire now. Can we get a close-up on John's face? I've never seen anyone look more shocked and disappointed at the same time. <laughs> the thing about getting it, and never in the history of the show has Dictionary Corner ever gone, <gasps> <laughs> This'll bring down the whole show! <laughs> just look into the eyes of the dog you've had killed. <laughs> Not sponsoring him anymore. <laughs> so you come to live with me on my steadings. So... <laughs> What's the room? You must be a bit annoyed, John, cos... Like... I'm enough? fucking fine about it! <laughs> The confidence that you had, Sandist, you were so, you've underlined it. You know it. I underlined it? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I've underlined it because you, you underlined it as a... last time a... I wrote something else down, you read it out and made me look like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, because you put, you put Sandist and underlined it, and I wrote Steadings and framed it with a little... <laughs> <laughs> Can we just do the fucking conundrum? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do the conundrum. I'm quite good with nine-letter ones. <laughs> What did you get? 350. OK, and Lee? I remember... I think it was... Keep going. <laughs> I just got to <laughs> some more time. <laughs> Lee? I've got 300, and anyway, it's a great oh, anecdote. Tell the anecdote. Go on, tell so, me. the funny thing is that uh, she was Bertle Orange, yeah. and he was called... It's a great anecdote, but B it's 25 times 9. <laughs> And they got married two, 225 times. Time. <laughs> yeah. Is she German? Did she say nine? Nine. She said, yeah. Yeah. She Lee, said, have you got anything? Yeah, got 349. Two. OK, Lee, how did you do it? No, John first, be polite. <laughs> <laughs> nine times two. Yeah. It's 18. <laughs> do we agree so far? We do. Is yeah. everyone happy with that? <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Okay. <laughs> Times it by the 25. <laughs> what does that give you? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Times the 2 by the 50. That's 100. Yeah. You're minus that. Now, we've got a spur 10. <laughs> I want yeah. you to take the 0 off the 10. <laughs> <laughs> Just go with it. Go with it. Uh, right. Minus that, and you're left with 3, 4, 9. <laughs> Six. John. <sighs> Seven. <laughs> oh, let's hear the six first. Come on, Lee. Saying. Saying what? <laughs> Don't push your luck. I'm not in a good mood. <laughs> <laughs> You've got saying. OK, saying. And, uh, John? Uh, adoring. I had that. I had it, and I changed it. How could that happen? Because <laughs> well, well, you had a longer word, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'll have a shorter one instead. <laughs> I've, written down, I've written down adoring. Seriously, I put down adoring. I thought, I wonder if I could have adorings. And I thought, no, of course you can't, you idiot. And then, somehow, aborted the whole mission. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the nine. Lee, your nine, that's Lee. a word. Reuniting. Yay! <gasps> Amazingly, that's 18 points to Lee. I imagine Lee, I imagine Sean is fine with that because that is part of the rules. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is a game. <laughs> okay. It's an incredible reversal of fortune. Yes. It's fantastic. Well, what yeah. makes this game so addictive? <laughs> 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 OK. So, Susie, Alex, could they have done any better? I'll guess nine! <laughs> <laughs> There's a ten, actually. <laughs> Lee, have you got a mascot? Uh, I know on this show you like options, so I'll give you two. You can choose which one you want. No, I haven't got a mascot, Jimmy, because uh, I think it's a pagan ritual. 
you know, the whole superstition thing goes against the teachings of the Bible and Jesus Christ. <laughs> Or, yes, Jimmy, I have. I've brought my lucky penis. I'll rub it throughout the show. 